Yo, what's good, YouTube? I'm GS Fear, and I'm dedicated to bringing you the stream tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you set your stream apart from all of the rest of Twitch. So with this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you a customizable chat overlay that I just adore. And you're going to be able to customize it quite a bit. And it looks just like this. As you can see, the chat is kind of coming in from like this. And if you're looking for it, stick around because it's going to take about two to three minutes to really set this thing up. Hey guys, so this is like a recurring list of videos, kind of like a playlist on the overlays included with pixelchat.tv. It is a free, you know, website that gives overlays to you. So we're going to go to pixelchat.tv. We're going to hit log in with our Twitch. And we're going to come down here to the overlays, create new overlay, hit this chat button. And then we're going to come over to the left side, hit the edit button on the pixel chat overlay. We can change the overlay titles, the overlay description. You don't really have to change any of that. Now we're going to first get into the animation. You can fade out messages. I really like that feature. You can do an in animation. There's so many options right here. I really, really like the rotate in. The out animation, which is the hinge. You can change that just as much as the in animation. The message fade out time. As you can see on the right side, it's kind of leaving the screen here after eight seconds because of the hinge so then we come down here to the style you can show the user icons or you can also have it to where it doesn't show the user icons you can change the message text color the message background color now the really cool thing about this overlay is you can have it with a background or without a background if you don't want it i like mine without the background personally but hey everybody has their preferences you can also come over here to the font face, which is essentially just a font. But you can have a public font or you can upload your own font from, you know, like Google or wherever it is that you get your fonts from. I like the Aldrich. That's just me. You can come down here to the chat box corner rounding, the font size. I keep mine about 22. Uh, sometimes I'll kind of go up a little bit. The space between chats, which makes it bigger or smaller. You can do the padding around all chats, the X or Y rotation to kind of adjust it if you need to. You can also come down here to the other hide chats that start with the command. So your exclamation SO, uh, exclamation socials, whatever it is that you don't want to be shown on your actual stream because it could clog it up. So I have that on. Toggle preview mode. It makes it to where you can see it on your actual OBS with nobody talking it'll just do these messages right here over and over and over so if you're not showing it off to somebody just click that off you can also change the chat alignment I like the bottom but also the top looks really awesome as well so you can have it top you can have it bottom and you can also have this comma separated list of users to not show on the overlay so if you don't want any bot messages to show up you could do stream elements and then the comma and then the stream elements commands or stream elements period isn't going to show up on this overlay. So after we get your style, your animation, your other, all that stuff set up, how you personally like it, we're going to go over here to the home and then there's going to be an active overlays and there's going to be an inactive overlays. Now, since mine is already on my stream, it's going to show it as the active, but yours is going to be in the inactive. So you're going to go over to the pixel chat overlay, which this isn't it, but yours will be over here. You'll hit this copy link and then you'll go over here to the OBS. Hit the plus. You could also do this on Streamlabs OBS or the OBS live for stream elements. Then you're going to hit the browser and then you're going to add that link into that part. So hit this browser, whatever you want to call it. And then into the URL part right here. And then just hit OK. So after that, you just it, it's going to be turned on and it's going to show up just like this on your stream. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial on the pixelchat.tv chat overlay. Let me know in the comments if you really, really enjoy this. And if you are brand new to the channel and you have not subscribed yet, what are you doing? If you want to get those stream tips, tricks, and them tutorials to help you 
that you are stream apart from all the rest hit that subscribe button that notification that ding ding so that you don't miss no more videos like this to set you apart and i do just want to remind you i do stream on twitch tuesday thursday friday saturday 8 p.m est if you need help with any of this stuff or if you just want to come by and you know chat with me in real time thank you guys so much and i will catch you guys in the next video which will be the social media overlay which i have up here yeah so catch y'all next time peace <whistles>